All right, here we have our uh, 1995 Ford F-150. Uh, it's the really hard to find extended cab flare side. Uh, this one's only got 92,000 miles, just about to turn over 93,000. I think we're about 10, 15 miles away from that. So more than likely by the time uh, High Bidder takes ownership, it'll probably have 93,000. But if you're looking for, or have been looking for a flare side, this pretty much is the one. This is a beautiful truck. It's fully loaded. It comes in this uh, really hard to find, um, I think they call it lapis metallic clear coat, but it's a beautiful bright metallic blue, kind of like a tart blue or um, Dodge had a color in the early 2000s called intense blue, but it comes with, uh, this was an option also to have the factory uh, painted in colored inserts. Um, the, the color looks, uh, matches perfectly. Um, it's just a beautiful color combo. Uh, it's got the gray interior. The matching fiberglass, um, hard to find fiberglass running boards. It does have a couple areas. I think this is the original paint, but it's really hard to tell. I'll run you along the rockers here. The bed's not all beat in. It's got like a spray liner type material on it. Now it's getting to be later in the day, so the color uh, is probably looking more like a... Um, a lighter blue than it actually is. It's a, it's a, you know, if you take a tarp and then put metallic on it, that's basically what you're gonna get. There's a couple areas to touch up that are hard to get on the photos, so I wasn't able to get on the photos, but with the camera, I can get in close. Um, you know, those were touched up right by the uh, door handle. You know, no uh, chips or cracks in the window. Just a couple minor rock chips on the front here. But again, that's kind of expected. I mean, it's only got 93,000 miles. That's kind of the gem of the deal here. A couple little chips. I'll go real slow so you can see them. Some of those are actually just bugs. If the truck hasn't been detailed out, um, you know, we like to keep them honest in the way we get them so you know what they, kind of how they were treated their whole life. Take you over the bed here, and there's, a, there's an area that's been touched up. And a lot of these get real sun dyed right here, but this one is not. It's kind of got a reflection going on because the paint's really shiny. But uh, it does not have any sun dye. It's got a little scratch there. And even along the rockers and the lower parts of the bed, in really good shape. It's a completely rust free truck. It does have, you know, your surface rust on the frame because these uh, come bare metal from the factory. So I don't know why with no protectant. You could go through and have somebody scuff it up and, and have a rust repellent put on there, but the body itself does not have any rust. Um, you, you can see on the underside photos, I'm not sure if there's going to be enough light to take you through there, but it uh, looks really good. No leaks or anything like that. AC works, all that stuff. And there's a little, little kind of scratch right there. Um, there's some chips that were touched up along here. Now, very common, you know, for a tailgate. But, you know, if you're ever going to get a panel touched up or resprayed, the tailgate's the one you want it because it's not really a, you can detach it and keep using your truck and drop it off at the body shop. There's just a little bit of wear here where I think they might have had a, you know, polished aluminum bed rails at one time and they kind of put an edge wear on it, but uh, you could just cover that back up with some bed rail caps. Take you along here. Really nice looking on the passenger side. A little touch-up spot there. I mean, they're really hard to, I mean, it's the, they've touched up with the correct color, so it's really hard to see, but I want you guys to know what you're getting. Got the factory chrome wheels. These aren't chrome covers. factory size tires in good condition. And you can see in the wheel wells looking good. You know, I sprayed a little armor all up in the plastic, you know, because I like the look of a black wheel well. And you see the top. I have top photos in real nice shape. You know, there's a little bit of areas touched up there. I mean, they're hard to see. You know, I gotta really go after them. You know, the steps even have very minimal wear. I mean, usually these things are just tore up. And finding these trucks with under 100,000 miles is, sometimes I get a drought and it seems to be difficult. I feel like I found as many as I could, but uh, there's a little touch up there. And it's not a deep scratch. It looks like they just touched it up and then lacquered over it, you know, just smooth it out. A couple little chips there. It's got the, the nice power sport mirrors. doesn't got those big boys, which always get hung up on stuff. I mean, the paint job on this thing is just, I mean, you can see the reflection. It's almost hard to get the condition of it because it just reflects so well. Take it inside. It's got the, the bucket seats, the gray with the lumbar support, um, full XLT trim. It's got aftermarket CD player. We do have the faceplate for it. It's got the uh, 
center console with cup holders. You know, everything works on this thing. So it's really nice. Got the original books and manuals. Nice and clean. You know, we'll do another video of it driving and everything. I mean, the only faults that you're going to find in this interior, I mean, truly, is, is super conditioned. I mean, carpet and everything's nice. Rear seat's nice. Non-smoker, nice-looking headliner. The only faults you're going to see is just, you know, that looks good, but there's just a little bit of darkening here, which just might come out. I mean, this, you know, maybe get a little shampoo cleaner or something, but it's very light. You can't even really notice it. Most people wouldn't notice it. And we take out the uh, floor mat so you can see what the, the condition of the carpet. We don't want to hide anything from you. And then the only other real damages or, or wear is on the driver's seat, I'll go show you. But even here, these are all usually cracked and tore up. That one's in perfect condition. And this does have the 5 liter, the 302. You know, the overdrive automatic transmission. Everything operates perfectly. I mean, just nice looking paint from top to bottom. I mean, usually there's a lot of wear right here. Let's see, get that camera back in focus. But that wear I was talking about is, um, this is kind of a common issue. I don't know what happens. I don't know if it just kind of comes undone. But other than that, it's, you know, armrests are both good. A lot of these get broken. You know, rear, the rear seat does, uh, does fold down. And then it's got the front and rear tanks. Which you can see, some of these sports sides, uh, flare sides, whatever one you want to call them, it only has one tank, so... You know, the power windows, power door locks all work, all that stuff's good, and I'll go over that in the driving video. It's got the push button four wheel drive. Got the AC cranking. You know, all lights go out. It's got 92,000 on her, 993. So, yeah, I'm probably just on the, the, the drive alone, I'll probably go over that with you guys. But still, I mean, 93,000 is. A rare find. Nice and clean underneath the hood. You can tell it's never been overheated. They kind of spray orange all over when that happens. You know, it's not a spotless engine bay, but it's a nice, honest one. You can see there's no fluid blow by or leaks or anything like that. It's just a good running motor. It's got a lot of power. Uh, kicks down when it should. It's just a really nice, honest truck. Um, and again, this is going to be going at no reserve. You know, just about 93,000 original miles on this. Uh, Extended cab flare side 4x4. Um, so, alright, good luck.